Yo, it's poppin' Team Tommy. Look, obviously y'all know I'm high as fuck. And I always be smoking. But like, when you guys smoke, bro, does only one of your guys' eyes get low, bro? Like, I swear, like, only this eye gets low and red, bro. I swear, bro. I swear. I don't know what it is. And I can feel it. Like, ooh, ooh, zooey, mama, ooh. But hey, man, today we got 15 rare and... 15 wild animals that have rarely ever been seen before. Now, I'm not going to cap Team Tommy. I have never seen cap. I've seen a jellyfish. I've never seen like a big jellyfish. Like That don't even matter, bro. Who gives a fuck, bro? I'm going to give it a stick. Bro, let's just get into the video, bro. Dude, fuck it. Our planet is full of incredible, unforgettable, sometimes frankly weird animals. But there's a is whole a lot more waiting out there that have rarely, if ever, been seen by average humans like you and, to a lesser extent, I. I've seen From a bird a before, come on, man. Muppet bird to the world's most trafficked non-human mammal. Here are the 15 wild animals that have rarely been seen. Bro, we seeing Pokemon today. Hey, that was a wild little intro no Kizzy. Shoe Bill Stork. Easily one of my favorite animals nobody has ever heard of. The Shoe Bill Stork is basically nature's tribute to the Muppets. I'm not gonna lie, bro. While most people have never seen That's a fucking dinosaur, bro. But like I feel like because of Twitter, bro, I've seen this shit like 80 times. I've never seen it in person, obviously. But like Bro, we've all seen the shoe bill stork. Stork. Seen one of these things in person, those that see even photos of the creature find it to be pretty frightening. I actually Bro, I like think it's cute in a weird kind of way. But then I well, love stork. the puppets, so I'm biased. Shoe bills tend to live in eastern Africa, making their home in the wetlands near the Nile. And while most people have never seen them in person, there's no mistaking second. them for any other animal. They can grow up to five feet tall, their wings are over eight feet wide, and that bill, oh boy, that bill. Anybody that encountered one of these animals in the wild would remember it, for sure. But perhaps one of the most notable things about the shoe bill is the way that it moves. Get ready for some nightmare fuel. Shoe bills have the frightening ability to stand perfectly still for hours on end. <laughs> nah, bro. Their bills against nah, bugs, bro. Exposing Fuck no. their golden eyes and making any rational human soil their pants. Very few people have seen a shoe bill in the wild. But those that bro, that's like a you, stalker, it's bro. It's definitely not the kind of Muppet you... Bro, imagine, like, imagine that shit is just staring into your window, bro, for hours, bro. And you can't do nothing about it, because, bro, you definitely gonna be too scared to go move the bird, bro. You're not moving the bird, bro. You're not doing Exposing it. Exposing their golden eyes and nah, making bro. any rational human soil their pants. Very few people have seen a shoe bill But did I not go back far But enough? those that have will tell you, it's definitely not... Nah, bro. <coughs> bro, what the fuck? Like, bro, we gonna have to fight, bro. Like, that's what it's gonna have to come down to, dead ass. Like, if it's me. Now, I know if it's you. <laughs> I know if it's you. You, 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 you gonna shut the blinds. Nah, 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 nah. You can't be staring in my window like that. No kizzy. Not the kind of Muppet you'd want to show your kids. Ew. Before we go on, we have a cool challenge for y'all that will take five seconds to complete. Let's make a deal. Just leave a like on this video, smash that uh -huh. subscribe button, and hit the Bro, I'm not gonna cap. That's kind of cool how people make, like, the video go with, like, what they're saying type fortune. shit. Try it. It actually works. Because I thought the challenge was gonna be a sky jumping. The pangolin. Like many humans, some animals are naturally shy and would rather not be encountering humans out in the wild, especially if those humans are actively trying to kill them. For the harmless pangolin, this tragic fate is a daily reality and may explain why so few people have seen them in the wild. The pangolin is considered to be the world's most trafficked mammal, not including humans, with poachers killing tens of thousands every single oh, year. Oh, damn. The meat is considered For the a scales, I knew it. That's what I was going to say. Citizens in China and Vietnam. 
while their scales are frequently used in traditional Chinese medicine. As a result, every species of pangolin is considered to be either critically endangered or vulnerable, perhaps explaining why it's so hard to see one in its natural habitat. Several animal rights organizations have voted to ban pangolin poaching, but it may well be too late to reverse the declining population. I mean, is it, po continue to search for is it poaching if they're using it for medicine? It's becoming an increasingly difficult challenge to do so. These peaceful and shy animals are dwindling in population year on year, meaning many of us will just have to settle for pretty photos. Number 13. Bro, like, see, like, this, this is the thing, bro. If they're using it for medicine, is it really poaching? Nah, if they're just going out shooting the animal and then just straight taking the scales and dipping off, okay, that's poaching. Like, that, nah, that's not cool. But, like, if they're just using it for medicine, bro. I'm not gonna cap, bro. We already got the armadillo. <laughs> like, bro, it's a, it's a eat or be eaten world. Now, if they're just taking the scales and just throwing the bodies away, that's a little wild. But if they're eating it too, bro, like. I mean, bro, like, just because we're in America or in Europe or something, bro, like, people do shit different, bro. Like, I saw a post today, bro, on the real Tarzan shit, bro. They, there was a leopard, bro, that was going through the village, bro. I was about to cat. It was going through the village and it was attacking people. And it was attacking livestock and attacking, uh, let me just read it, bro. Because I was about to cap and say it was eating babies, but, like, it was not eating babies. <laughs> All right, it was, it says, apparently this leper was attacking livestock, pets, and people in the village. So they captured it, killed it, and put it out for, and for the public to see. Bro, so look, they're like... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I didn't think y'all would be able to see it. Yes, sir. Oh, let me put it away quick. But like, look, they're hanging it up. So like, bro, of course, a whole bunch of people in the comments talking about, I can't believe they would do this. I can't. Bro, what the fuck y'all expect them to do, bro? Like, bro, I can guarantee, bro, if they ate one of your kids, like, you're not going for it, bro. And it's not like they're hanging it up as a trophy, bro. They're hanging it up to like show people like, look, you guys are somewhat slightly safe now because he definitely got a family. So you never know if the family of leopard is going to come back. To, I mean, that, that, that's going too deep into it. But basically, bro, what I'm trying to say is, bro, people do shit different. And like, it's a, it's a, it's a killer be killed, bro. It's a killer be killed, bro. And animals don't get a pass, bro. They really don't, bro. The Seneca white deer. There aren't many animals that are the focus of conspiracy theories, but the Seneca white deer has enough for the whole animal. Well, I thought it had horns. It seems that was like that Pokemon uh, where these beautiful animals came Arius from, or something which only like that. makes them more magical. Or if you're a conspiracy it theory, doesn't. concerning. Well, that's wild. Theories range from an army Is this an albino deer, though? To radioactive genetic mutation to the idea that they're actually ghosts. If all of those sound a little too ridiculous for you, you can also just choose to trust the scientists that claim they have some slightly different genes to regular deer. Even if it is a little boring by comparison, while the white deer is hard to find in the wild, They've been around since at least 1941, when they began thriving inside of a fenced-off area of land designated for the U.S. Army. While most of the deer were your typical expected around the U.S. Deer, Army, some had this unusual and definitely a chemical mutation. Coat, Look, bro, they got some brown on them. The conspiracy theories we know and love today. Today, the Seneca white deer is a rare animal to spot in the wild. But thanks to its naturally bright coat, it's a hard one to miss if you do happen to stumble upon it. The only question is, where did it come from? And the answer is, we don't know. Number 12. The U.S. Army. Elephant Shrew. Now we move on to an animal whose very name is a complete contradiction. The Elephant Shrew is a big little animal that's not at all related to the Shrew family and isn't close to being anywhere near the size of an elephant. Confused already? Excellent. The elephant shrew is a very small mammal measuring anywhere between 10 and 30 is that centimeters. like a baby one? However, despite this tiny little frame, they're more closely related to animals oh. like elephants. Oh, that's its tail. Bro, why does it look like it's shit? Which explains the name, if not the genetics. These are animals that can survive in pretty much all kinds of habitats. Is it eating rocks? 
from jungles and forests to plains and mountains all over the world. And yet, nobody ever sees them. Why is that? Well, for one, they're so small that you probably just wouldn't see them. But Duh. also, they're one of the fastest small mammals on the planet, capable of reaching speeds up to 17.9 miles per hour. The elephant shrew is easily one of the more bizarre animals on our planet, and one of the most memorable. A tiny little animal like this being related to something as large as an elephant is definitely one of Mother Nature's more unique creations. It's Number related 11, to the elephant? The Northern Hairy-Nosed Wombat. With a name like sense? the Northern Hairy-Nosed Wombat, you know this is going to be a fun little animal to talk about. And it really is one of the more adorable things you'll ever see, which makes it all the sadder to know that they're critically endangered. But man, are they cute. Like pretty much all wombats, this species- Bro, that kind of almost looks like an evolution when the birds started transitioning into the rhinos. Am I capping? Or it just looks like another rat, bruh. Heavy, with a stocky body, short tail, and short solid legs. We got but big rats, thick rats. This is also an animal that is incredibly rare to see rats. inside of zoos or animal facilities. Due to its fundamental nature, this is the largest but it looks like known a pig, rat hybrid. growing mammal in the world. And when an animal prefers to spend its time on the both. It makes it pretty tricky for the rest of us, ordinary people, to find them in the wild. In addition, male and female wombats look pretty much the same, although the males tend to be a little shorter than their female counterparts. Still, the northern hairy-nosed wombat is one of the most adorable animals you've never seen. And hopefully, with ongoing conservation efforts, the species can be protected from environmental dangers. We need more adorably cute animals now that like one looks like a rabbit. wombat as our world is going to hell around us. Number 10, the Yanks finless porpoise. It often seems that the rarest creatures are also the most adorable, and that is, to some degree, accurate. In the case of the Yanks finless porpoise, That's there's rare? just something about the animal's smile that is completely charming and sweet. But, sadly, this is another animal whose rarity is involuntary. Much oh, like I thought its it was descendant relative. I hockey thought shit was just another dolphin, dolphin, bro. Known as the Baiji, it seems there has never really been a time in which the hold on, 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 I'm just on that shit. Look, 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 look. Let me fix this shit real quick. I'm gonna have to look back. All right, fuck it. Yeah, it's gonna have to stay right there. But that, that's if I'm leaning all the way back. I don't, I don't even be doing all that. Ah! Not facing extinction due to changing climate, habitat fragmentation, and a rapidly increasing loss of food. Bro, I'm really not trying to be a dick. Look, look, let me think before I say it. Look, 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 let me see it again, too. Let me see it again, too. Like its descendant relative, the now extinct Yanks River dolphin known as the Baiji, it seems there has never really been a time in which the finless porpoise was not facing extinction. There has not been a time where it's facing extinction. Where it's not facing extinction. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, bro, this is a mentally disabled dolphin, bro. You can't, like, you can't tell me it's not, bro. That's why, bro. They just named the mentally disabled dolphin something else, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Extinction due to changing climate, habitat fragmentation, and a rapidly increasing loss of food, this is an animal that is constantly in danger of disappearing off the face of the planet. As a result, very few people are able to find these beautiful creatures in the natural wilderness. Still, at least we have videos and photographs to remind us of just how truly gorgeous they are. Today, there are only around 1,012 finless porpoises in the world, making these a critically endangered species. While some individual porpoises are living in zoos and aquariums around the world, the animal is all but impossible to find in the wild without a whole lot of I know of some of you niggas that get... Fed steak like that, you weirdos. If Reno is the <laughs> biggest Let me go back. Some of y'all niggas get fed steak like this.
and aquariums around the world, <laughs> the animal is always hard to find in the wild without a whole lot of luck. Number nine. Oh the shit. Borneo pygmy elephant. If Reno is the biggest Could large city in the world, then the Borneo pygmy elephant is surely the smallest large elephant on the continent of Asia. Okay, so it's not quite as impressive when you phrase it like that, but it's got such a good ring to it that we're not going to backtrack now. The Borneo pygmy elephant is the smallest elephant in the world, and is, as expected from the name, incredibly cute. With its baby face, big belly, large ears, and its long long tail these are the most adorable elephants in the world i'm not gonna lie this one kind of lame bro it's just little elephants bro seriously dumbo has nothing on this little guy the adorableness makes sense as these animals are the descendants of domesticated elephants that belonged to sultans in the 17th century they were essentially pets for rich people thanks to evolution really and genetic changes the borneo elephants became much smaller though their ears continued to grow larger, giving them their unique appearance. The Borneo pygmy elephant is considered to be an endangered species, with very few living in zoos around the world. They, domestic very gentle well, animals they domesticated animals elephants? ...is reliant entirely on their environment being protected, which is perhaps why they don't... Bro, I gotta stop smoking, bro. I don't know why the wild fuck wild. am I talking on. Number eight, the Black Spotted Couscous. Contrary to popular belief, the couscous is not the live version of the similarly named grain. I had to check multiple times because I was convinced. But it turns out that's apparently just a hilarious coincidence. In actuality, the couscous is a little known mammal that looks a little bit like a possum. So, far from a vegetarian friendly grain. With its unusual, vertically split pupils, arced front claws, and tail capable of grasping onto the trees in which it lives, it's hard to imagine that nobody can actually find That dude is going ham on especially this shit. Especially since the black spotted couscous is known only on the island of New Guinea. However, even there, it's very difficult to locate. Throughout its entire life, the black spotted couscous has been the target of local hunters, who are currently the only known predator of this incredible creature. Combined with the often cited climate Good change Lord. and habitat alterations, it's, it's killing clear it. why this magnificent animal has been all but vanishing from the face of the earth. Many experts hope to be able to reproduce and reintroduce. Oh, it can really use its, its tail habitat, too. Though the continued problem of hunters poses a significant threat to that plan. We'll just have to hold out hopes for more couscous, not the food. Number seven. That's an animal I've frog. never seen. I've never seen Frogs this. Frogs come in all sizes, colors, and types of poison, which perhaps explains why nobody ever thought to look for the purple frog, a species that is located only in India and has been around for some 100 million years. Damn. Many that visit are unable to find them, making their whole existence a question mark. The purple frog is known as a burrowing species, which some scientists claim is the reason why the animal was overlooked by the experts for so long. After all, who looks for frogs underground? Facts. The very first formal sighting of the frog came in 2003, which is incredibly late given that scientists confirmed that the purple frog's DNA had been around for over 100 million years. That molecular experimentation also suggested that the species is very closely related to another family that exists on the Seychelles Islands. These two families appear to share some kind of ancestor that was ultimately isolated on two different areas of the planet. Despite being around since the dinosaurs were roaming the earth, the purple frog still manages to elude humans at every turn. And when even scientists are unable to find one of these specimens, what hope do the rest of us have? Number six, the hooded Bro, I'm not gonna count that one. That, that was actually kind of nuts. Go, that one looks a little, little does wild. sound like some sinister creature from an HBO historical drama, but this animal actually dates much farther back than any television drama ever made. These critically endangered animals are over 35 million years old. Although they look pretty good for their age, the hooded greb can usually be found in southern Argentina. Those eyes are pretty if it nuts. Can be found at all. 
While they are pretty noticeable birds thanks to their black and white feathers, they've been named as a critically endangered species. It's estimated that there are only between 800 and 1,000 individual Damn. birds left on the I'm not going to lie, those look kind of fire. of the devastating impact climate change has had on their natural habitat. With less snowfall, the lakes are drying up, killing off many of the food sources that the grub thrives on. Coupled with their very low reproductive rate, these animals seem to have many hobbies that keep them away from bedroom time. This means that few hooded grebs are able to survive and thrive. Thanks to the consideration efforts of multiple organizations, the hooded grebs population is now stable, though still critically endangered. While they're difficult animals to see in the wild, they're thankfully still with us. Number 5. The Philippine Eagle now we come to a real contradiction of terms. Nah, bro. The eagle is the biggest bird in the world, in terms of its length and wingspan. Yet it's also one of really? the rarest and least seen birds. Bro, why does it have a cut like that, bro? Point, also known as the but like eating eagle. Have y'all seen the American eagle, bro? The American eagle looks like a fucking, like... The American eagle, high-key, looks like... Like a like a like a, a U.S. Army guy, like bro, he got it got the like the sharp the sharp ass like cut down type shit, and bro, like it just looks like it's a hunter, bro. Just straight looks like a hunter, bro. This one right here, bro, looks like a like like a shaggy type, like a uh, Aaron Rodgers type eagle, like a I don't know, man. I don't know. This doesn't look like a a warrior eagle. It looks like the eagle smokes, bro. Like it, what the? Um, and mm. least seen birds on the planet. Try like, look at it, bro. Look at the cut, bro. It's literally slicked down, bro. I know people that do their hair like this, bro. <laughs> I know people that do their hair like this, bro. One out. Also known as the monkey eating eagle, this bird is the national bird of the Philippines and is capable of living for up to 60 years. Initially, it was believed to only feed on monkeys, hence the alternative name, though this was later found to be untrue. In essence, the Philippine eagle is believed to be the apex predator in its range, capable of feeding on just about any prey that it considers worthy. Bro, nah, bro. I thought it was a chill guy. From small bats to a 14 kilogram deer. To put that into context for you, the Philippine eagle weighs on average between 4 and 8 kilograms. So it's eating something double its weight. While killing this bird is illegal in the Philippines, carrying a whopping 12 year sentence, the deforestation of the eagle's natural habitat has led to a sharp decline in the species population, making it all but impossible to spot one in the wild. Number four, Southern Darwin's frog. Can you guess who discovered this frog? Yep, you guessed it. Charles Darwin himself famously discovered this unusual frog in Chile. While journeying around the world on the HMS Beagle, it was rediscovered by a French zoologist, Andre Marie Constant Dumero. The animal was a Okay, we don't care about him. I'm not gonna cap though, Team Tommy, but we might have to do a video on um all the animals that Charles Darwin uh, discovered. Because, like, bro, the fuck? I thought he only found birds. Bro, that's kind of nuts. Bro, if he found a frog like that. Southern Darwin's frog. This rare species can be I, found I know, he, he's America, found some other shit, bro. Prefers to thrive that's like, whoa. Forests, glades, and other natural areas near to slow-flowing rivers and streams. That shit but looks just like a leaf, bro. All information is kind of useless as nobody ever sees the South Darwin's frog. How would you see it? Thanks to its unique camouflage tactics. While chameleons and other reptiles have an incredible ability to change their skin, Darwin's frog has no need to change anything. Thanks to its brown-green color, this is an animal that camouflages naturally. When faced with a potential predator, the frog lays on the ground as if it's a dead leaf. And incredibly, it, oh, I thought it really was it also dead. means that nobody ever really sees them. Darwin's frog is now listed as a vulnerable species due to habitat loss caused by deforestation and climate change. But it's also entirely possible that the species has never been healthier, and that we're all just being misled by what we assume is a bunch of dead leaves. Number three, the pygmy three-toed sloth. That's crazy, I'm not bro. sure exactly what it is, but there's something about the sloth that is incredibly endearing. Perhaps it's just the lazy way it lives, or the fact that it's simply adorable. 
but there's something about these animals that you just can't help but love. Well, this one may be even cuter. How Slobbing everything on that. pygmy is cute. Bro, we have all seen a sloth. sloth. Can only be found on the Isla Escudo de Veruguas, a small island located just off the coast of Panama. Here, the sloth does everything that it could possibly hope for. Sleep, swim, sleep, eat, sleep, sleep, climb, sleep, climb down for one day per I'm week. I'm trying to live the life of a sloth. Look, the life of a sloth is pretty enviable. We can all agree on that. The pygmy three-toed sloth is yet another magnificent wild animal listed as critically endangered. Though its ability to survive is <laughs> not to understated. As the smallest member of the sloth family, the pygmy has a few genetic blessings that allow it to thrive, including camouflage, thanks to its coloring, stealth, thanks to its super slow approach to life, and remarkably strong hide, thanks to, well, it doesn't have to poop for a while, so lack of use? Look, I'm very jealous of the sloth, that's all you need to know. Number two, the Ronaldo Dwarf Galago. With a name like that, you'd expect it to be some kind of Lord of the Rings type creature. But it's actually, like a lemur. you'd be pretty far wrong. The Rondo Dwarf Galago is a very, very... Bro, this is in Madagascar, bro. And the, the little one. Known Galago known to man. If you've never heard of a Galago before now, welcome to the club. Native to its homeland, Tanzania, the Rondo Dwarf Galago makes its home in subtropical forests. And, true to form, its home is tiny. The entire species lives in an area less than 100 square kilometers in area, and even that is growing smaller by the year. As deforestation continues to destroy the dwarf Galago's home, this species is becoming increasingly more endangered, landing on lists of the most endangered mammals on Earth year on year. And since they're so tiny, it's almost impossible to locate and keep track of these animals for preservation purposes. With its wide eyes and big ears, the Rondo Dwarf Galago is one of the cutest animals you could ever hope to see. Whatever the circumstances, it's just a shame that they're almost never seen naturally in the wild. As their name suggests, they'd have some amazing journeys. Number 1. The Hero La You know an animal is endangered when the Wikipedia image is a drawing instead of a photo. Well, the Hero La, or Hunter's Antelope, is definitely endangered, and if it were to go extinct, it would also be a groundbreaking loss. The first extinction of a mammal on the African continent in modern times. The Hirola was first discovered in Kenya in 1888, and was immediately characterized by their large horns and unusual eyes, which contain glands capable of marking their territory. But while they're easy enough to spot, there's just very little way for anybody to actually see one. Globally, there are only around 300 and 500 specimens left on Earth, and with no animals in captivity, the natural progressing decline of these animals suggests that there's very little that can be done to slow the eventual extinction. But I'm not gonna lie, bro. Creatures. It the looks Hirola like a deer with different horns. As critically endangered, so little else can be done to save these animals. Sadly, it seems that these images will be the now only that nose is a little weird to appreciate the wonder of the hero law and wondrous they are which of these animals time out what's that even the nose bro what the fuck? let us know in the comments progressing decline of these animals bro, I, I think i went too far back magnificent creatures the hero law has already been labeled oh, wow. as critically endangered so little else can be done to save these animals sadly what the fuck Bro, facts. I think this is the mouth. And then this is the nose. Like, am I tweaking? But, like, when you look over here, you see a mouth right here. And then that could be a nose. So why do they have holes? It kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies. Oh, oh. Right, we're not re-watching that shit. If you stayed this long, I love you so much, Team Tommy. Thank you so much. You might as well just leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Actually, you don't really have to comment because majority of you pieces of shit that comment, you're either extremely nice or you're just a complete dumb fuck. So honestly, bro, if y'all ever catch me like out and you're one of the nice people, bro, just come up and say what's up, bro. I'll dap you up. I'll say what's good, bro. But if you're one of the like dickheads, bro, what's good with it, bro? <laughs>
What's good with it, bro? Exactly, nigga. But shit. Love, peace, and chicken grease, Team Tommy. Stay safe.